My name is Dr. Bharat Kumar Reddy, Consultant Psychiatrist, Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. Today, I would like to talk about alcohol, alcohol-related psychological problems, and alcohol addiction in particular. Lot of people know that alcohol, taking alcohol, is a habit. Now, we need to differentiate from a habit to addiction. When to call it an addiction? When it is just a habit? Alcohol has been there. Till since time immortal, it is there from centuries. A lot of people have been using it, abusing it, and getting addicted to it. So a lot of things go on in every day uh, individuals' life. Now coming to alcohol addiction, well, if the somebody's life totally revolves around alcohol, irrespective of the quantity and content of what he takes. We have to call him alcoholic. We have to call him an alcoholic addict. Unfortunately, there is no clear-cut guidelines to say when an individual who is a habitual alcoholic becomes an addict, because it may vary from culture to culture how an addict can be identified or how an addict can be defined. In some cultures, alcohol taking alcohol is a very common thing. Children take it. Women take it. And elders take it in those communities. In such communities, if we go and say that somebody is an alcohol addict, they may not accept it. But unfortunately, in whatever community and culture you may belong to, alcohol has a deleterious effect both on your physical state and mental state. Especially if you have become an alcohol addict, it will impact your quality of life. It will impact your personal life, family life, and professional life. I have seen many families just breaking down because of somebody's alcohol habit, and this is increasing in our country, unfortunately. Lot of people are getting addicted to alcohol, which initially had started as a coping mechanism for them, but slowly it takes over their life, and their lives are destroyed. We see a lot of advertisements in our televisions. About different therapies, different uh, modalities to treat alcoholism. Lot of talk. People talk about uh, this drops, dust drops, this medication, dust medication. In fact, all this suggests that alcoholism has become a huge market in our country. Unfortunately, our next generation, the young generation, the future of India. A majority of youth are today taking alcohol. Today, they are slowly becoming addicts. Unless and until we look at it not just as a health problem, but on under a social health problem, we are not going to address it properly. Governments all over the world have taken a lot of initiatives to control alcoholism, but unfortunately, they have failed. And in fact, now it is left to us as an individuals how we are going to ta tackle this social health issue, which has become a menace for our future. Now, alcohol addicts, clinically, if you look at them, as I said before, their life revolves around alcohol. Throughout the day, they would be drinking, or they would do what's called binge drink, where they will drink for three, four days continuously. And then abstain from drinking for a period of two weeks or three weeks and restart again. So alcohol addiction doesn't mean that the guy who drinks every day is only addict, but this kind of binge drinking is also called an alcohol addict. So you can have different patterns of alcohol intakes, alcohol habits, but eventually it's the it's the body and mind of the individual. Which is going to take a hit because of their habit, and that destroys their lives. Now, if an individual is deemed to be an alcohol addict, we expect them to take take some help and get out of the problem. But unfortunately, in 99% of cases, the individual never accepts that alcohol is a problem for them, no matter what happens to their lives. And this is where the problem lies. Suppose if somebody is an alcohol addict, we want the family to take the initiative 
and get them to hospitals for treatment because on their own only 1% of alcohol addicts come to hospitals for seeking help. 99% of patients never accept that alcohol is a habit and alcohol is a problem for them no matter what happens in their lives. So that is very important for, for individuals to understand that no alcoholic will ever come to hospital on their own. They are always bought by their families either by request or by force. But it is very important to get them treated. If they don't get treated, their alcohol habit destroys their families, destroys their children's future, destroys the habits uh, of other individuals who live with them because it's a kind of addiction which other individuals also pick it up when seeing one individual and if it is the head of the family he becomes a role model and unfortunately his children or his uncles or his brothers somebody else will start the same thing looking at, looking at him so it is very important to treat alcohol addiction once alcohol addiction is identified he has to be brought to hospital where he is initially detoxed detox to the sense that all his toxins in the body which have accumulated because of his alcoholism have to be taken off we have to look after for his withdrawal symptoms treat the withdrawal symptoms make him better physically and mentally once he is physically and mentally better in a few days then we think of de-addiction that means we take some measures to ensure that once he is out of hospital he doesn't go back to drinking so that is called de-addiction so detoxification and de-addiction happens together to ensure it's a total treatment package for the individual and each individual is different henceforth each individual's treatment package would be varying based on his habits based on his social support based on his family support and based on his whims and fancies of what kind of drink he takes how often he takes but eventually all this comes down to one thing identify alcohol alcoholism in your friends family members neighbors if you do that please don't neglect it don't leave it to him thinking that one day he will come to hospital because as i said 99 percent of individuals never make it to hospital never would like to come to hospital seeking help for their alcoholic habits it is always the family and friends who either bring them requesting them or bring them by force but eventually that is the outcome they have to face the family has to face one day or the other the sooner the better before they destroy their liver kidneys and heart and cause other physical health complications and then it becomes worse so my advice is once somebody is identified with alcohol habit which is going out of hand and out of control please take initiative to bring them to hospital get them treated get and seek help from a psychiatrist to control their habit improve their life life well-being make sure that families are taken care of and their lives are improved